Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to this episode of the Ellison Education video series. Today we're going to take a butterfly and we're going to turn it into a puzzle. If you look at the table in front of me, we have a couple of different choices, but we're going to start with the butterfly that I've used to create or to practice compound words. So you can see that I've cut the butterfly out, then I've gone back and I've die cut it again, but this time using a puzzle maker die that allows the kids to place the two halves together in order to spell the compound word. So if you look here, I've already die cut the butterfly and now I need to cut it into the puzzle pieces. So I'm going to use the puzzle die and you can see that it has this shape to it and actually it's placed this way, it's on the die. So when I take this, I can position the butterfly so that it cuts it in half the long way or I can position it so it cuts it in half more horizontally. Either way will work great. So now I'm just going to take the butterfly shape and I'll go ahead and cut it into two puzzle pieces. So you'll see how easily it cut it into two puzzle pieces. Now it's just a question of using stickers or handwriting the two halves of the compound word. You could also switch it up and do math. You could have the equation on this side and the solution on the other side. It could be 3 plus 5 and then you would have 8 on this side and when the child matches it up they're solving the equation. There are other ways that you can use the butterfly to make puzzles. Look at this particular example here. Once again, I've die cut the butterfly and then I've gone back and this time I've taken a puzzle that has four puzzle jigsaw puzzle pieces. And because I'm going to cut several of them, I've gone ahead with a white pen to indicate where I want to place the butterfly when I die cut it. And I'm going to position it just like this every time and that way it's going to cut it into these jigsaw puzzle pieces, it's a little bit easier for the kids to assemble this if you cut the background as well. So I'm going to take and die cut the butterfly out of some chipboard and I'm going to just place that aside, lay this to create a little cavity that allows them to go back now and assemble the die cut pieces when they are creating, in this case, solving the math equations that make it easy to reassemble all the butterfly pieces. You know, you can die cut the butterfly into puzzle pieces for practice in all subject areas. 